Hello everyone, thanks for watching the AppFicial YouTube channel. Please subscribe. And in this video, we're going to create a Java program that's going to determine when the coronavirus is gonna end. I know you guys are tired of being quarantined and are wondering the same question. So we're gonna create a Java program that's going to use the calendar class to get the current date. We're gonna increment that by one 365 times and create an array list of every date for the next year. And we're gonna randomly pick one of those days as our last day of the coronavirus. Let's knock on wood to hopefully that's when it's gonna end. So let's get started. First, let's create a class. And we'll just name it coronavirus. Click the checkbox for the main method. Click finish. Here's our main method. Let's erase that auto-generated comment. And let's first create a calendar object. Calendar C is assigned to calendar.getInstance. Okay, and let's see what that does. System.out.println. Okay, printing out just the letter C, or the object C gives you all this stuff, which is way more info than you actually needed. You just needed, you know, the, the date and time. Get time. So we'll call the get time method on the calendar instance, and you get something that looks like that. Wednesday, April 8th, there's the current time, Pacific Daylight Time, 2020, right? If that is too much for you, if you just wanted a specific format, we can format it also. Let's do that. Let's create a simple date format object called SDF, assign it to new simple date format. And we want the two digit month. So use two capital M's, two digit day, so two lowercase d's and a four digit year using four lowercase wise import simple date format from java.txt and let's print out the, the new formatted version of the time and we're going to do that by saying sdf.format and pass in c.get time that should format it for us and you can see the difference there it is okay if and just so you know how these little formats work, I mean, if I erase two Ys and added an extra M there, check out what happens. It changes it to April 8th, 20. Oops. And if I made it four capital M's, April 8th, 20. All right, cool. And if I wanted it to have a space and a comma right there you could just mess with the format like that and that looks a lot, lot nicer so let's go with that I like the way that looks all right let's create an array list that's gonna store 365 days starting tomorrow and that's gonna be where we're gonna randomly pick the date from for the end of the coronavirus array list string we're gonna store string dates in there days assign it to new array list type string all right and we need to import array list from java.util so click the import quick fix all right and now let's loop 365 times so using a for loop for int i equals zero i is less than 365 so i plus plus and what we're going to do is add to add one date to the calendar. So let's start with tomorrow. Add, because we know it's not going to end today, calendar.date. And the second parameter is the what we're going to increment it by one. So this will add one to the calendar date. So April 8th will become April 9th, basically. Let's create a string. Actually, let's just add it to our add our string to the calendar days dot add, and what we're gonna add is sdf dot format. We'll add our formatted string c dot get time. All right. 
just make sure that looks good. Now let's iterate or loop through our entire array list. And this time we're going to use an enhanced for loop, the for each loop. For string day, so we're going to create a string called day, and we're going to iterate through the days array list. And let's just print out each element of that array list, print out day. And let's just see if that looks good. And we don't need these. Let me comment these out for now with control forward slash run the program and here we go so let's start from the top April 9th 2020 all the way through you can see that through April 8th 2021 all right great next let's create a random number between 0 and 364 okay because our array list indexes start at 0 and go to 364 and there's 365 total elements in there We'll do that with the random class, random rand equals new random. All right, import random from java.util. Int um, number num, let's assign to rand.next, int 365, which will give you a random number between 0 to 364. All right, let's figure out when this coronavirus is going to end. And we're going to do that. Coronavirus will end on days.get. And we're going to pass that random number to it. And let's run the program and find out. November 15th, 2020. So sorry guys, that's a long time from now, but that's when it's gonna end. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and more videos are coming soon, I promise.